Juhi Chavla, born November 13, 1967, is an Indian actress, film producer, and entrepreneur who was the winner of the 1984 Miss India Beauty pageant. She has won two Filmfare Awards. Chavla made her acting debut in 1986 with Sultanat and received public recognition with the tragic romance Kaya Matse Kaya Magtak, 1988, where she won the Filmfare Award for Best Female Debut. She established herself as a leading actress of Hindi cinema by starring roles in Lutera, 1993, Aina, 1993, Dar, 1993, and Humhain Rahit Piyarkot, 1993, for which she won the Filmfare Award for Best Actress. Further success came in 1997 with films including Diwana Mastana, 1997, Yes Boss, 1997, and Ishk, 1997, becoming commercial successes. Out the following decade, Chavla was willing to play against type and began working with independent filmmakers in arthouse projects, garnering critical acclaim for her performances in Janker Beats, 2003, 3D Warian, 2003, My Brother Nikhil, 2005, I Am, 2011, and Gulab Gang, 2014. Moreover, she starred in several Punjabi films, including the biopic Shahid Adam Singh, 2000, Des Hoya Pards, 2004, Wary Shop. Ishq Da Waris, 2006, and Sapmani, Hope for Life, 2010. Since 1995 Chavlin has been married to industrialist Jay Mehta, with whom she has two children. Along with her husband in Shah Rukh Khan, she is the co-owner of the Indian Premier League cricket team Kolkata Knight Riders. Along with Khan, she was the founder of the production company Dreams Unlimited, which produced three films, starting with the self-starring Furby Dil Hai Hindustani, 2000. She additionally featured as a talent judge on the third season of the dance reality show Jalak Daikla J.A.A. Juhi Chavla was born on November 13, 1967 and raised in Ambala, Haryana, India. Her father was an officer of the Indian Revenue Service, IRS. She completed her schooling at Fort Convent School, Bombay, present-day Mumbai, and graduated from Sydenham College, Bombay. Chavla was the winner of the Miss India title in 1984. She also won the Best Costume Award at the Miss Universe Contest in 1984. Chavla ventured into films with the 1986 Sultanat but it turned out to be a commercial failure. She went on to act in the Kannada classic Prima Loka, directed by Ravi Chandran in 1987. She also starred opposite Prasenjit Chatterjee in two films. Her first major role in Bollywood was in Kaya Matse Kaya Matak in 1988, in which she starred with Amir Khan. The film a modern-day adaption of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, was both a major critical and commercial success, with Khan and Chavla becoming overnight stars. It won the Filmfare Award for Best Film, and Chavla became the first actress to win the Filmfare Award for Lux New Face of the Year, also receiving her first nomination for Best Actress. Chavla's pairing with Amir Khan in their on-screen chemistry was often cited by the media as successful. The film has since attained a cult status with the Times of India ranking it amongst the top 25 must-see Bollywood films, calling it one of the landmark films of Hindi cinema and crediting it with making Amir Khan and Juhi Chavla household names. Pramankar Biswas of First Post wrote in a retrospective review, Juhi Chavla, with her flouncy gagrin passive but assertive demeanor was an early predecessor to the sexually liberated Bollywood heroines of today. She wore what she wanted and initiated a relationship with the man she desired. In 1990, she starred in Pratibhand. She also received her second Best Actress nomination at Filmfare for the film. Her other releases that year included the family drama Swarg alongside Rajesh Khanna and Govinda, which marked the first of several collaborations with director David Dhawan. In 1992, she appeared in Bol Ratha Bol alongside Rishi Kapoor, for which she received her third Filmfare nomination for Best Actress. Later that year, she appeared in Aziz Mirza's comedy Raju Bangaya Gentleman the first of many collaborations with actor and business partner Shah Rukh Khan. 1993 was often reported as the most successful year in Chavala's career. She appeared in four films. Her first release was Lutera, directed by Dharmesh Darshan and starring Sunny Dayal, Nisaruddin Shah, Chunky Pandey, and Anupam Kur. She played a young woman who receives witness protection through the service of a bodyguard, played by Dayal, with whom she eventually falls in love. She was case in two movies produced by Yash Chopra. The first was Ina, which saw Chavla and Amrita Singh play sisters falling for the same man, played by Jackie Truff. 
Her third film that year was Mahesh Bhatt's romantic comedy Hamhain Rahit Pyar co opposite Amir Khan, which was a success with both critics and audiences. Her performance as a Tamilian runaway, which required her to master Tamil language and dialect, met with acclaim and established her as a comic actress. Writing for the Indian Express, Udaya Taranayar noted that she played her role to perfection. She won a Filmfare Award for Best Actress for her work. The last film she appeared in that year was The Thriller Dar, directed by Yash Chopra. The film was one of the highest grossing films of the year, making it Chavla's fourth consecutive box office hit of the year. Dar was also a major critical success, winning several awards, including the National Film Award for Best Popular Film, providing wholesome entertainment. She played Kiran, a young woman about to get married with her fiance, Dayal, when she becomes the object of a young man's. Khan, Obsession. She appeared in Sajan Kagar alongside Rishi Kapoor, Ran Jane alongside Shah Rukh Khan, Naja Yaz alongside Ajay Dutgan, and Lofer alongside Anil Kapoor. She received critical acclaim for her performance as a battered wife in Abbas Mustan's thriller Darar, and she received a Filmfare nomination for her performance in the film. Chavla regained mainstream success in 1997 with the romantic comedies Yes Boss, Diwana Mastana, and Ishq, all becoming box office hits. Ish became one of the top earners of the year. In the romantic comedy Yes Boss, she played a model who becomes the love interest of an ad agency owner and his ambitious employees, played by Aditya Pancholi and Shah Rukh Khan, respectively. Yes Boss opened to favorable reviews and did well commercially, and Chavla received a seventh Filmfare nomination for her portrayal, which was described by Screen as spirited. In a 1998 retrospective review for The Times of India, Kush Budawari called it a quintessential 90s rom com and took note of Chavla's chemistry with Khan. In the comedy Diwana Mastana, Chavla played Dr. Neha Sharma, love interest to both Kapoor and Govinda, and ends up marrying Salman Khan. The film was a commercial success. Her other release of the year was MR and Mrs. Kiladi alongside Akshay Kumar. The film turned out to be an average grocer. In 1998, she appeared once again alongside Shah Rukh Khan in Duplicate. The film was produced by Yash Johar and directed by Mahesh Bhatt. The film underperformed at the box office upon its release. The same year, she appeared in Harishikesh Mukherjee's Swan Song Jyoth Bol Kawakate alongside Anil Kapoor. The film was received well by critics for its reminiscence of Mukherjee's films, with one critic calling it a classy comedy. The same year, she also appeared in Priyadarshan's rural drama Sag Rankus Hapn opposite Arvind Swami. The film underperformed at the box office but Khalid Mohammed wrote of her that she is only saving grace. Lovely to look at and an instinctive actress, she's as likable as ever. The same year, she starred in the Malayalam detective comedy Hari Krishnan's opposite Mohan Lal and Mamudi. Hari Krishnan's was a commercial success. In 1999, she appeared in Arjun Pandit alongside Sunny Dayal, which was mostly rejected by the audience. She played a woman who seeks revenge in the film and described her character as a role with negative shades. The critical reception to the film was similarly lukewarm, but Chabla's work was better received. The same year, she also starred opposite Sanjay Dutt in the adventure film Safari, a critical failure. She worked free of charge in the Punjabi language biographical film Shahida Dham Singh, based on the life of Udham Singh. In 2000, alongside Shah Rukh Khan and Aziz Mirza, she opened a production company called Dreams Unlimited. The romantic comedy Furby Dil Hai Hindustani was the company's first production starring Chavla and Khan. Upon release, the film underperformed at the box office, though over the years it has been appreciated for its bold theme on media wars. Chavla's performance as the journalist Rhea Banerjee received appreciation from the critics. Read of critics what Namitter wrote, this is probably one of Junhi's best performances. She has never looked better, and once again, like Hum Hain Rahit Pyar Cook, she shows a flair for comedy. Her other release of the year was Rakesh Roshan's delayed Karabar, The Business of Love, which was in the making for over five years and failed upon release. She played a small role in Gang. In 2001, she appeared in the action comedy 1 2 Ka 4 with Shah Rukh Khan, in their seventh collaboration together and with Jackie Shroff. The film was a flop at the box office. Chavla played three roles in the film a Harry Envy maid, a bar dancer, and an undercover cop. While the film was noticed for its serious content, her comedic performance won acclaim from several critics. Vinaya Chakravarti wrote, but the winner here is Juhi, that vintage comic flair of Hum Hain Rahi Pyar Kuk almost comes back from the dead. Similarly, Nika Kazmi of the Times of India the only saving grace in this sea of confusion is Juhi.
As a fast-talking hairy and loudmouth who has the hots for her Ricky Martin, Shah Rukh, she is an absolute delight. The Hindu agreed with this observation, further noting her unfailing sense of humor and timing, which few can match. Another release of the year was the comedy on Donia Thani Karcharo Paya opposite Govinda. Having taken a one-year break from film work, Chavla started appearing in independent and art films, and her work included critically acclaimed films Jankar Beats, 3D Warian, both 2003, 7, and One Half Fear and My Brother Nikhil, both 2005, and B.A.S. Battle, 2006. Jankar Beats, a musical comedy in a tribute to music director R.D. Berman, saw her play the wife of an aspiring musician. She won a Star Screen Award for Best Supporting Actress for 3D Warian, which earned her positive reviews. Robert Kohler of Variety wrote, Chavla gradually settles into a role that contains at least three different character layers to it. She acted opposite Ginnis Man in the Punjabi language feature Des Hoya Pards, 2004, which was warmly received. She said she chose the part because upon reading the script, she identified a tremendous scope for performance. The film won the National Film Award for Best Feature Film in Punjabi. Set in Goa between 1986 and 1994, Honors My Brother Nikhil centers on the character of Nikhil, played by Sanjay Suri, a young man who has tested HIV positive. Chavla co-starred as Anamika Kapoor, a schoolteacher by profession and Nikhil's loving and supportive elder sister, who accepts his same gender partner and stands by his side through his struggle. The film opened to a welcome reception by critics, and Chavla's performance was particularly praised. Khalid Mohammed was highly approving of her portrayal, above all, Juhi Chavla is perfect. Her effortless blend of conflicting emotions is what A-class acting is all about. Ms. Chavlet is a diamond in this little gem of a movie. She starred alongside Irfan Khan in Seven and One Hat Fear. Hindustan Times commended her comic performance. In 2006, she appeared in ensemble drama Salami Ashk, a tribute to love directed by Nikhil Advani. She collaborated with Honor once again within the drama B.A.S. Ekpal, 2006, alongside her Mila Nakar and Sanjay Suri. She played Ira Malhotra, a battered wife who refuses to leave her possessive husband for religious reasons. The film opened to positive reviews. Subhash K. Jar wrote of Chavla that she uses her ability to portray hurt and guilt with minimum effort. The same year she starred in another Punjabi film, the historical drama Wari Shop, Dishkda Waris, which won a National Film Award. According to BBC, the film bears the hallmarks of a quality production. The film is based on the life of Punjabi poet Wari Shah during the times he wrote the poem Herdat Chadla and Manoj Bajpayee played a married couple in Ganesha Charya's drama Swami, 2007, which follows their financial struggles to secure proper education for their intelligent son. Reviews of the film were varied. Tanvir Bukwala of Redif appreciated the film for its simple story and for giving the lead pair the chance to be unconventional and subtle and they do not fail to deliver. Chadla then appeared in Ravi Chopra's Bhutnath. 2008, with Amitabh Bachchan, in which she made her singing debut with the song Chalo Jane Du, the film was a moderate success and Chavla was appreciated for her role. Manish Gadjar from BBC wrote, Juhi Chavla's brilliant comic timing is Banku's Mung has you in stitches. Another film called Krazi 4 with Irfan Khan and Arshad Warsi was released in 2008, the film failed to do well at the box office. In 2009, she appeared in a guest appearance in Luck by Chance to play a comic part for which she dyed her hair blonde. The film and Chavla's performance got extremely positive reviews and got a good opening at the box office. In 2011, Chavla starred in Honor's critically acclaimed anthology film I Am, 2010. Unfolded in several chapters, the film starred Chavla alongside Manisha Koirala in an episode named I Am Mega. She played the title role of a Kashmiri pundit who travels back to her hometown in Srinagar, having been driven out of it years ago. For her performance, Chavla was awarded the Best Actress Award at the 13th London Asian Film Festival and Award for Excellence in Hindi Cinema at the Asian Vision Movie Awards. Her performance also earned her a nomination for the Filmfare Award for Best Supporting Actress. Rajiv Masson wrote, Juhi Chavla is a portrait of suppressed vulnerability as she confronts her feelings about an old home and an old friend. Chavla next starred in the action comedy Son of Sardar, 2012, opposite Ajay Devgan, which was purely received by critics. Live Men called it the worst portrayal of Punjabian in Hindi cinema, although it referred to her part as the only unique role in the film and further noted, an actor with proven talent for comedy, Chavla makes Pammy, her character, 
pathetic as well as feisty. The film earned 169.98 Indian rupees crore, 24 million US dollars, worldwide. After appearing in offbeat films and occasionally playing guest roles throughout the decade, Chavla made a full fledged comeback in 2014 with Gulab Gang alongside her once arch rival Madhuri Dixit. Chavla and Dixit played ruthless political rivals, and this was the first time in Chavla's career that she played an antagonist. Her negative role of Sumitra was widely appreciated and her performance earned rave reviews. Shubhra Gupta of the Financial Times described her character as the sort of politician that men have played forever, hungry for power, will stop at nothing, not even murder and mayhem. She rules with an iron fist and a sneer. Hindustan Times wrote, an effective hero needs a larger-than-life villain. In this case, it is Juhi Chavala who marries her sister to a rapist and apparently killed her husband to get political power. Like most corrupt politicians we see on screen, she is an opportunist who lusts for power. It speaks well about her acting prowess that we come to hate the otherwise effervescent Juhi in this film. Anupama Chopra wrote, her perverse wickedness is the best part of the film, but called it a one-note character. Rajiv Masson called her terrific in the part and concluded a scathing review of the film asserting, if you must watch this film, watch it for Juhi Chavla's inspired performance. She received a second Filmfare nomination for Best Supporting Actress. The same year she also appeared with Helen Mirren and Owen Puri in a guest role in the Steven Spielberg-produced Hollywood film The Hundred Foot Journey. In 2016, she starred as the main protagonist in the woman-centric drama Chalk and Duster with Shabana Esme. The film received positive to mixed reviews from critics and Chavla's performance was appreciated. In a critical review for The Hindu, Nunrata Joshi noted Asmi and Chavla who, with their dignified presence and easy camaraderie stop you from heading to the exit dude. Rohit Vats of Hindustan Times liked the film for its well-told ethics versus great story and mentioned Chavla as heartwarming. In 2017, she played an Indian defense minister in the alt Balaji web series The Test Case. In 1998, Chabla participated in a concert tour entitled Awesome Foursome alongside Shah Rukh Khan, Kajal, and Akshay Kumar across the United Kingdom, Canada and the United States. In 2009, Chabla featured as a talent judge for the third season of Sony Entertainment Television India's dance reality show, Jalak Daikla JAA alongside Saroj Khan and Bhavi Merchant. In 2011, she hosted Colors as Kids chat show Bad Mash Company X Shara at Home Go High. In 2008, Chabla in partnership with Shah Rukh Khan and her husband Jay Mehta, acquired ownership rights for the franchise representing Kolkata in the 2020 Cricket Tournament Indian Premier League, IPL, for US$75.09 million, US dollars, and named the team Kolkata Knight Riders, KKR. The team won in 2012 and repeated the feat in 2014. Juhi Chabla married industrialist Jay Mehta in 1995. The couple have two children. In an interview Juhi revealed that Jahanbi wants to be a writer, instead of joining films. Her brother Bobby Chavla was the CEO of Red Chili's Entertainment. He suffered a massive stroke in 2010 after a dinner party. After being in coma for about four years, he died on March 9, 2014. Her sister, Sonia, died from cancer on October 30, 2012.